Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again, man. You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? Have you ever noticed entitled people ask for everything and genuine people don't really ask for much? If you ever wondered that, I'm going to explain something to you, right? There are some people in the world who feel entitled to a lot of shit like it's a privilege for you to be around me. I need this. I need that. I need this. You should give me this. I need this. It's all about this. It's all about me, right? Like their ego is completely inflated, right? Here's the deal. Some people are very high on themselves and certain words, whether it's somebody told it to them, they told it to themselves, but some people just let certain things go to their head and they have this big ass ego where it's like I deserve everything in the world but in real reality they can't put out whatever it is that they ask for so example you ever notice there's somebody who has like a, a fetish for like designer and lavish stuff all this high up top up shelf lifestyle like Gucci and all of this lavish shit but their work ethic doesn't match that shit it's somewhat like a person who asks for everything but can't really put out. You need to understand something. There are some people in this world that their priorities are completely backwards and their morals. Certain things, they don't really have anything to do with priority and morals. But it's certain things that people need to understand. Some people have this confidence in the world that's like it's really big. But it's like, yo... What do you have that confidence for? Why should you be getting all of these things? It's because they want it. It's like when I said before, people have like a childish behavior and then they graduate it. That shit is real. Some people have this gimme gimme mentality and it's like, yo, if you really think about it, you always ask for stuff like this. Why don't you give it to yourself? You got to understand, sometimes some people don't have money for it. They want to use you, finesse you, whatever the case may be. And on the other hand, you got some people out here in the world that's like, yo, why are you so cool? Why are you so chill? Why you don't ask for much? Why are you just so calm? You got to understand something. There are some people in this world, they don't ask for much. It's just the bare, the, just, the, just the little things. Those are the people that deserve the world. And in real reality, a lot of those people ain't really picky like that. They might be, but it's like, the, it's the little things, dog. You get what I'm saying? Some people, it's like materialism and like vanity. All of that shit, like it really drives them in the world, bro. It, it just drives them, dog. I don't know what it is that fuels that. I don't know if it's like TV programming where they see other people with certain shit. But it's like... <clears throat> Some people have this expensive taste, but like I said, their work ethic doesn't match it. They want everything in the world. They want everything to be given to them. But it's like, yo, would you give that back in return to me? Chances are no. The person who's genuine, they don't ask for much. Would they give you back the same in return? Chances are probably yeah. So you got to understand something. It's like I said, it's like a tale of two halves, like two different worlds. It's like an opposite, night and day good evil forward backward it's two total opposites so remember this some people in life are completely entitled and chances are they don't have a reason for being entitled they just feel that way you get what i'm saying feeling entitled or having a feel uh, uh, uh like an entitlement or some shit like that that could be a feeling but that's also like a form of a like a ego like a pride or some shit you know what i'm saying all it takes is for one person to bring that person to real reality and those words would stick with them, bro. Like example, yo, you ever seen how some girls out here are like, yo, I want this bag. I want a Birkin bag. I want this. I want that. I want Gucci. I want this, right? Some of them work hard. Some of them don't work. Don't work hard. Yo, I want you to give me this. I want you to give me that. Why do you feel this way? I want it. Some of them feel like, yo, just because I'm a woman, oh, God bless me, I'm on the face of this earth. You should give this to me. Fuck out of here. Let me tell you something, dog. There are some people that got this spicy ass mentality, just like example, that video I said I seen. If I find, I'm going to find that shit and I'm going to put it up on my channel, dog. It was a pastor who literally was on his congregation like, oh, my gosh, I come up here and I preach the word. 
I ask you all to give me a Rolex and you couldn't give me a Rolex oh I see what type of congregation I got yeah uh, your past ain't good enough for a Rolex you spicy nigga diva motherfucker if you don't get your ass off that rostrum my nigga if you ain't finna preach about God this is the shit I be talking about people be having this entitlement shit and they try to climb their way up in different ways so they can use their voice to let it be heard Oh, I feel entitled to this. I feel entitled to this. Chances are the people who are entitled to shit haven't really worked or put in a day's worth of hard blood, sweat, and tears work in like forever, my nigga. People who are like that, I'm telling you right now, I'm teaching you game. Those people are tricksters, dog. People who feel like, oh, I'm entitled to this. I'm entitled to that. They have this falsified, inflated ego, dog. And they feel entitled to certain shit. Certain people like that, you cannot let them get up the chain of commands or in power without learning or understanding certain shit. Because those are the type of people who will get up there and mistreat other people who work hard, bro. I'm teaching you game, bro. I'm teaching you game, dog. There are some people who, who ask for everything. I'm entitled to this. I'm entitled to that. <clears throat> it's like, yo, what are you entitled to? Not a damn thing. And those are the people who don't really want to work hard for shit. They just want to lean on the next person or expect the next person to carry them or do for them or some shit. I'm going to tell you right now, in this life, it's all about you, your effort, whatever it is that you want, what it is that you put out. You feel me? If you feel entitled or you know, somebody should take care of me, I'm going to be honest. That's just like being a child, dog. There's dudes who do this shit too. Expect their friends to take care of them and shit. Females be doing that shit too with their friends. But I'm saying like a lot of females will have that. Oh, uh, you, you got to have money to talk to me. You got to have this. And a lot of the times the females that say shit like that, they're broke, my nigga. They're broke. People play these little dumbass games of, oh, I'm entitled to this, I'm entitled to that. That's why they fear people who have common sense, dog. People like that, dog, they live in like La La Land, bro. They like, they live in Mars, bro. They don't live on Earth, bro. They live in Mars, bro. They don't live in, they don't live on Earth, dog. I'm telling you that right now. They live on a whole nother planet, a whole nother dimension, a whole nother timeline. I speak to a lot of people who, who say certain shit like, yeah, I feel entitled to this. I feel entitled to that. And it's like, where are you at in life? Where has that gotten you so far? Not very far, has it? You got to understand something. Certain people get pushed to a certain way where they get babied and get privileges. Like it's a lot of women out here. That's why they have a lot of dudes out here who try and sympathize and simp for women or I'm a feminist and this, that, and the third. That's like encouraging that fuckery ass behavior, dog. I'm telling you right now, bro. It's a lot of little tricks that they put out here in the world. But if you're one of those people who feel entitled and you don't really put up shit and you don't really work hard, you don't really bring anything to the table, but you feel like your life, everything in the world should be diamonds and pearl. You stay in that fucking mentality is going to is going to hurt you, dog. Excuse my cursing. Dog. That's probably why YouTube be flagging me with certain shit, dog. Be real with you, dog. Stop that shit, bro. It's not going to get you anywhere. I know people who are older than me. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. I'm not calling names, dog, because I don't like doing that shit. I know people who are older than me who have that mentality, and it's never gotten them anywhere. They're like assed out. Assed out, dog. Delusional as hell. It's never going to get you anywhere, bro. Just let that shit go. You feel me? That being said, remember this. Words can help you. They can hurt you. But here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody's a champion, dog. Nobody's a loser, man. 444 the world, man. Love the hell out of all you guys, man. Peace.